So first of all, thank you very much for uh, allowing me to come and, and meet you today. Pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs> um, I suppose you are quite uh, quite busy. <laughs> yeah. But sure. uh, but uh, thank you very much for allowing me this uh, this time. I had just a few questions yeah, just to good. give us uh, to give me an idea of um, uh, of what to um, ask. But uh, basically, I've been doing a bit of uh, bit of reading on the internet. I see that. Um, you're a contributor in the Radio 4 show, in a Radio 4 show? Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. How does that, do you do that, like on a, what is it, a daily basis, or is it... So it's a, it's a news programme called okay. the Today Programme, okay. and it's on Radio 4 between 6 and 9 and every morning, okay, okay, Monday okay, to Saturday, okay. Okay, and good. then at 10 to 8 every day, mm -hmm. they have what's called Thought for the Day. Thought for the Day, okay. So yeah. it's... Um, it's two minutes forty five seconds, okay, okay. and uh, so there's there's a lot, you know, a, a road of people who do it, but they're okay. all from different religions. So there are okay. priests like me, okay. and then there are um, Buddhists, Hindus, okay. Muslims, Jews, uh, all the major yeah. world religions are okay. represented, wow. and you. It's not, I mean, you are, of course, you talk about religion, but you talk about a news story. Mm -hmm. So the last one I did, for example, was on the phone hacking scandal. Okay. And the okay, news okay, of the okay. world paper okay. shut yes, yes. Um, And before I've done it on pensions okay. legislation. Or, wow, I think it's... it's so it's, it's quite political. You yeah. have to find a news story, yeah. politics and economics, but you reflect on it from a religious perspective. Okay, and okay. So everyone does it differently, and you you do it. Um, you tend to do three for mm -hmm. three weeks. So I do I do three Tuesdays, and then have a break, and then three Thursdays, oh, and then okay. have a break. Okay, 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 okay. The next time is in October this oh, okay. year. So I'm doing three. I think Wednesdays oh, okay. in October. But <clears throat> would you do then different different topics on your every? Absolutely. Okay. And you have to you write it the day before. It mm -hmm. all has to be quite tight because. Yeah you don't know what the news story is going to be. Mm -hmm, yes, so, for example, so. on the phone hacking story, mm -hmm. I wrote the script the day before. I agreed okay. it with the producer. You have to agree it yeah. with the BBC. And then James Murdoch shut the news of the world after I'd written the script. Okay. So then I had to rewrite the script. Oh, and wow. then in the morning, you go to the studio. It's all live. You mm -hmm. have to do it live. Okay. So you go into the studio, and another development had happened that morning in the mm. story. So oh, I was right. on the phone to the producer at 6.30 in the morning, <coughs> And we had to rewrite again, okay. so it can be very up can to the minute. Very, yeah. But then ten to eight, mm -hmm. wherever you've got to, wherever the story's got to, you have to go. To go. Yeah. yeah, because I suppose that any update that you do also has to be approved, I guess. So, yes. Yeah. Everything yeah. has to be argued. Okay. You you sometimes argue your case. Sometimes they want <laughs> you to be a bit less strong, mm -hmm. or they want you to be a bit more bland. Often. Okay. And yeah. um, quite often the contributors say, "No, I don't want to be." Mm -hmm. I want to say something. Yes, and if definitely. People, yeah. If people don't agree, that's fine. Mm. But at least you've said something. But I think it's really interesting the way that um, uh, religion is applied. I mean, it, the, people can see like a practical application of religion because I, I don't know. I think that sometimes people lose, like, put it in a separate separate that's boxes. Right. And I think that uh, um, for especially, I mean, I'm I'm originally um, a Catholic. I'm mm. from uh, Argentina, and uh -huh. and. and yeah. um, but what I see back home is that people are uh, all the time putting religion away yes. and kind of yes. forgetting that it has practical practical applications as well. And I think more and more in in modern society, people are doing it more and more. They mm -hmm. they make it private. It's just you private mm -hmm. privately what you think. And of course, it's very private religious yeah. belief. But also, it does affect the way that you live, and it affects mm -hmm. that we are as the way we are as a society. Mm -hmm. So. It's uh, it's a good thing. It's in a flagship news program. It's not a religious program. It's okay. news, and then they have this short slot where someone has an amazing opportunity actually to broadcast Definitely. and say something about religious application to a political news story. Wow, oh, that is that yeah, is it's really, good. Really interesting. Good and that can, that must keep you really busy because I mean I suppose that yeah. it takes takes a while to does, yeah. write something that uh, that has. And you don't you know it, it's got quite a large audience, so you don't want to. Of course. Stupid, <laughs> of course. That, yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it's, uh, yeah. But it's a really good. Quite a lot of pressure, I imagine, thing. right? So, I guess. How I, did you I, feel the first time you had to do it? Completely did terrified. <laughs> I can imagine. I still feel quite terrified. <laughs> I still. And people respond. They email in. Mm -hmm. You know, people are very quick to yeah. let you know mm -hmm. when yeah. you, they think you've said something mm -hmm. uh, that they think is wrong. Mm -hmm. So they very quickly let you know. So I get a lot of emails or phone calls or whatever it is. Well, it keeps, keeps the conversation it's going. It's fine. I mean, it's yes, really definitely. fine. And you that's, that's, uh, that shows that the, the audience is definitely engaged with, exactly. uh, with what you're saying, which, exactly. is, which is great. Yes, it is. Great, great, great. Um, and 
I, I see that you before um, before St James Church you were in uh, you were working in St Paul's Cathedral That's as well. Right. Yes, oh, okay, exactly. okay. For how long? For I was there for twelve years. Okay, St. wow. Paul's. Yeah, it was a long wow. time, and I was um, for six of those years, seven, six or seven of those years, I was mm -hmm. uh, one of the canons. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a there is a dean and chapter, mm -hmm. and there's a dean and four canons, okay, and three lay canons, and you are the governing body of St Paul's Cathedral. Okay, so it's okay, a fantastic. Okay. Okay. A fantastic uh, it's, role, and it's an incredible experience, isn't yeah. it? I mean, you yeah. must get to know a lot of lots of people, and wow, yeah, it's really, and really you're nice. right in the city of London. Yes, so you get to know your neighbours. So I mm -hmm. got to know a lot of people who work in finance, the stock exchange, mm -hmm. bankers, yeah. <laughs> you know, all that kind of thing, um, which was really interesting because yeah, I didn't definitely. really understand the way that system worked, <laughs> yeah, and it now transpires it. quite a lot of people didn't <laughs> understand the way that system worked. But anyway, I was one of those people. <laughs> And uh, that was good. And then, obviously, it's a big tourist attraction as well as being yeah, a church. Definitely. But we had services, uh, four services every day. Okay. So. Um, Were you in charge of some of those services, or? Yeah, my my role was I was called Canna Presenter. So mm -hmm. my role really was to oversee the team mm -hmm. that uh, put together all of those services. Mm -hmm. So we had twenty nine services every week. Mm -hmm. Wow. normal yeah. and then mm -hmm. we had weddings and baptisms and okay. then we also had special services as well okay. so we did the service after 9-11 for example mm -hmm. the memorial service in this country yeah. was at St Paul's I was involved with, with okay. putting that wow. together and very very poignantly the service for 7-7 the London bombings yeah. and that really was with the team that was my responsibility to wow. put the service together which was broadcast live of course mm -hmm. and um, so we had a lot of experience at doing very, uh, memorial very, services mm, and very crucial points in history. Very I tough, mean, yeah. yeah. And also, you know, happy occasions as well. The mm -hmm. Queen's Golden Jubilee. Okay. The Queen okay, Mother's okay. 100th birthday. Okay. The Queen's 80th birthday. <laughs> all kinds of services like that, wow, which were really great. good as well. So That's great. So and next year, St. Paul's will do the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. The Diamond Jubilee, yeah. Jubilee, yeah. So yeah. that's going to that's be very June, important. right? Next year, is it? June, exactly mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's so brilliant. it was an amazing 12 years, really, yes, to be involved imagine. with that. Yeah. And the cathedral has about two million visitors every year. Wow. So uh, many of them come to services to pray, mm -hmm. and some of them come as tourists mm -hmm. to, who who pay to look around. Yeah. Um, so you meet people from all over the world all the time. Definitely. It's fantastic. Wow, what an experience! And it's the same yeah. architect. So St James is here. Yes, that is right. It's Christopher Wren. Yeah. Uh, brilliant, brilliant <laughs> architect of the 17th century, and after the Great Fire of London in 1666. Mm -hmm. Uh, all of the churches in the city were nearly all were destroyed, mm -hmm. and Christopher Wren rebuilt a lot of them. Okay. And St Paul's was obviously the biggest one that he rebuilt. Yeah. And St James's in Piccadilly here is the only church he built outside the city of London. Okay, okay, so okay. Well, we're special as well. Great. It's yes, really definitely, good. Definitely. Really definitely. Good. How was how was the change for you? Because you joined um, this church in 2010, was it? Or? Yeah, late okay. 2010. So mm -hmm. October, I think, mm -hmm. second half of October, and. Um, it's oh, it's very different in yes, many I ways. Yes, I can imagine. It's very it's, uh, different. <laughs> it's, it's I mean, the church obviously the building is a lot smaller mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. I was used to, but at the same time, um, it's as I say, it's the same architect. So there's mm -hmm. features that you can see are the same. It's a very light and airy, mm -hmm. spacious, definitely, peaceful yeah. building. I think it's really beautiful. It's beautiful, definitely. Uh, and people often respond very strongly to it when they come in. They mm -hmm. they they really. Are amazed that it's so light and peaceful. Definitely, I think it's. Um, I think it's also larger inside. Once you go in, it, uh, from outside it doesn't look as um, spacious, but once yeah. you go in, it's. Uh, it's, it's like really Tardis, surprising. like Doctor Who Tardis. <laughs> it looks small from the outside. But yes, but it's uh, but it's yeah. very very spacious, very very nice. It's beautiful. And I think moving also from I li you live where you work as a mm -hmm. priest. So I live mm -hmm. here. I live right okay. in this building. Okay. And at St Paul's, I live right next to St Paul's Cathedral. Oh, okay. So moving from the city to the West End is different as well. I can imagine. So it's yeah. very, it's louder here. Oh, is it? Okay. okay. <laughs> and there's more nightlife. Definitely. Shrieking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure none of your guests do shrieking at three o'clock in the morning. No. But no, if they are, they're guests. keeping me awake. <laughs> we, will, we will ask them kindly to stop that. <laughs> no, but it's, I noticed, I did notice that, that it's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, right living right by Piccadilly Circus. You can't, uh, it yeah, can't get any imagine. louder than that. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So but, do, you like manage to, do you manage to sleep well then? Um, Most of the night? Occasionally. Of course, my <laughs> conscience is clear. That's so of course, <laughs> I sleep very peacefully now. 
<laughs> it's a, actually, it, it took me a little bit of a while to get used to it, actually. Yes, because the with. city, I suppose, that after after 7 p.m. That's right. kind of dies Because in the city, right? they're all working in banks or stock exchange mm -hmm. or whatever. The markets close, mm -hmm. and, and then they go out and they get very drunk, often, <laughs> yeah. very quickly. But very but then quickly, they go, then home. go home. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. in fact, yes, it was 8, 8.30. Eight, mm -hmm. It okay. would really quieten down. And mm -hmm. um, uh, when I first lived in the city, no restaurants were open in the evenings. It was okay. very odd. And certainly nothing was open on a Saturday mm -hmm. or a Sunday. So now you it has changed. Yeah, now it has it's changed, really yeah. changed. Yeah. And interestingly, there are more hotels in the city of London now oh, yes, than definitely. there used to be. And people are staying there more. And mm -hmm. there's more restaurants, there's shops, um, mm -hmm. normal food shops. So it really has changed. Yes. It's be become more normal. More normal, yes. Yeah, more, which is really good. Yeah. But moving here... Uh, I noticed that there was a real change in, as I said, volume, of course, but it was also uh, different, people. different people. It's, it's more definitely. international mm -hmm. here, and there's more... Um, much more tourism as well. More much more tourism, mm -hmm. and much more retail. Mm -hmm. yeah. So people are visiting, they're at leisure, mm -hmm. and we have a market here at yeah, the church, yeah. so we really hope to kind of pick up on some of those visitors mm -hmm. and some of those tourists, because we have a huge different variety of stalls and different days are different things mm -hmm. so Monday's food Tuesday is antiques oh, okay, and then yeah. Wednesday to Saturday is arts and crafts oh, okay, and a lot okay, of okay. our storeholders they make their own stuff like jewellery mm -hmm. or um, clothes yeah I see some really, really interesting some really things really nice, nice stuff. things yeah definitely um, and uh, we, we're trying to make sure that we support traders who are selling unique things definitely, that people yeah. can't get anywhere else so that's what definitely. we're aiming for we're not definitely. completely there yet yeah no but, no but that's know, great that's yeah, i mean really i see want. some really nice things i mean to be perfectly honest with you i mean i don't uh, one thing that i don't like about uh, central london is like yeah. so many souvenir shops with yeah. <laughs> so much yeah, yeah. stuff that is like all the same yeah, this is same. really really special really yeah. different and really unique yes and it's beautiful yeah. really really nice oh well, i'm glad you find yeah. it i think mean, we're always wanting to move more to that because mm -hmm. we have I guess maybe two thirds of our stores would be of that, mm -hmm. but we we do have some mass produced stuff here. Mm -hmm. But um, but you know we need to rent out the stores. But yeah, the, the market yeah. really helps to keep the church going, mm -hmm. the running okay. costs of the church. Yes, because I do see quite. I mean, I do see quite a lot of people that go to the market and then visit the visit, visit the, church. the church as well, yeah. which, is, which, is which is great for us. Yeah. And we we want people just. We want to be able to keep the church open mm -hmm. all the time for mm -hmm. whoever comes. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you are a businessman mm -hmm. or a, a, a tourist mm -hmm. or if you're homeless mm -hmm. or if you are you know, feeling depressed about mm -hmm. something or if you're feeling on top of the world about something. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who you are. We want to keep the church open mm -hmm. so that there is a space. And it's quiet in there, interestingly, even on such a busy road. It's quite Definitely. peaceful in mm -hmm. the church. So we want it to be so that people can come and they don't have to be religious. They don't have to sign up to anything. We're mm -hmm. not trying to make people do anything particular. If they just want to sit and think or take, take a moment out of their day, light a candle, uh, if they say a prayer, that's up to them. Mm -hmm. You know, we just want to be welcome. That's, that's one point that I wanted to ask you. I was um, checking the website and I, something that um, caught my eye was um, that it said um, the inclusive church of um, St. Very what definitely. what do you mean by inclusive? Yeah. Meaning, meaning like all religions and uh, mm. okay. I mean we're definitely a Christian church, mm -hmm. definitely Christian, and we are part of the Anglican Church, yeah. so part of the Church of England. But uh, the best thing about the Church of England really is that while we are definite about who we are, mm -hmm. we are very open to mm -hmm. people from other religions or from other faiths or none. Okay, and it's mostly none. Mm -hmm. I think now these days. Yeah, I think so. So yeah. if people. Uh, some people on a Sunday, we have maybe a hundred, just over a hundred people come on a Sunday mm -hmm. for our main service, which is at 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So we have about a hundred people come okay. and they come from different parts of London. They, they come sometimes from, they've been staying locally mm -hmm. sometimes okay. uh, and they just want to find out or see what's happening, wow. uh, which is great. But we've got a core of people who are really committed to the okay. church. And that's, uh, that's an amazing thing because we will welcome people, whoever they are. So it's, um, what do I mean by that? So it, it, it doesn't matter, as I said before really, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what background you're mm -hmm. from and it doesn't matter what you believe mm -hmm. when you walk through the door. Um, what we hope is that our retelling of the story and our um, com sense of community will be infectious for people and they'll mm -hmm. think, wow, this is great. But there's no pressure, and mm -hmm. that's one thing that's very important, and a lot of people comment on with our church particularly, that there's no pressure put on people to 
um, to do to anything that they change don't want anything to do. about themselves. No, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean when they c you come completely as you are. What we hope is that when you've been with us a little bit, mm -hmm. then we will change each other mm -hmm. because we all need to be changed. You know, we all want to live better lives. Definitely. But um, we're not trying to make anybody else into us. We are inviting them to be on a journey with us if they want to be, uh, mm -hmm. and we will, as I say, change each other I in think, that process. I think it's amazing. It's